unanswerable. Put a bet on when I was at Wednesday. Bronco knew this guy could get his good odds against Ipswich to lose. Now the papers are onto it. Tony. I can feel him out there, you know, waiting to get me. He's not going to stop till he's finished me. What are you going to do? Just going to see him all, you know, when I were a kid. Stanley Matthews, Finney, Rach Carter, and Shackleton. I wanted to be just like him. You know, I tried to walk like him and do my hair, you know, slick back with Vaseline. God, they look fucking great. You know what it looks like that nowadays, do they? It's all gone now. I don't know what I'm going to do. You're so bloody proud, aren't you? You can't even bring yourself to ask me back. everything. I know I have, and there's nothing to be scared of anymore. What are you saying? I'm saying I'll come back to help you through this. But I'm not promising anything after that. Okay. Deserves some respect. Go on, get him over there. Get him playing. I'll handle this. Come on. Hello, Tony. Pete Camplin, the people. Mike Gabbert. What do you want from me? Give you a chance to have your say. What if I don't want it? Swan and Lane are talking. <laughs> We've got the statement, Tony. We're printing Sunday. It's up to you. We just want to know what happened that day. Tell us about the changing rooms, Tony. Where you handed the money over. Used fivers under the main stand, was it? Tell me you didn't do it, Tony. You threw the game, didn't you? Saw your chance. Easy money. Easy, eh? Come on. I admit it, Tony. You're bent. That's the truth. What do you know about... The truth, do you want the truth? Hey, come on, come on, come on. A club comes to sign you when you're a kid. What do they do? They give you cash. If you're a pro, more cash. Bonuses for this, backhanders for that. Buckies, touts, hangers on. You can't avoid it. So what, someone comes through, they say, hey, Tony, got a bet for you. Sure fire. Good odds. And you're out there getting smashed to fuck every week. One tackle, one see it. So you take your chances. Everyone's doing it, no-one's getting caught. Yeah. I am, Ben. The old stinking game is. But you know what? At least I love it. Come on, Camplin. We got what we came for. 
You've broken my heart, Tony. You know that. Now go and break mine. Soccer Shame by Michael Gabbert. December the 1st, 1962. Soccer fans and all who cherish the good name of British sport should write that date in bold black letters. It was the day of infamy for British football. That was the day when the ugly cancer of corruption spread its evil growth right up to the highest strata of soccer. Association football is Britain's national game, the game we invented and gave to the world. And now it is our regrettable duty to report it is the game whose fair name star players like Tony Kay have besmirched. Point new par. These disturbing facts first came to the attention of this newspaper more than a year ago. Disturbing facts which had to be made. Boss, there's something I need to tell you. Go on. Go on. When do I read about it? Tomorrow morning. Have you ever thought about why you play? I mean, really thought? No. No, well, I'll tell you. It's all clear, that's why. You see, there's winners and losers, honest men and cheats, clear as crystal. Question is, what you do out there on the day? But I knew mm, I'd do lots of things off the pitch. Do lots of things. Never question them, close my eyes to them. Does that make me a bad man? I don't know. Okay, lad. Well, long you know. Go on. Give them some memories.
Do you honestly think people like all that kind of stuff? Camping, you know I don't like talking about politics. Come on, answer the question. Like it, they love it. They can't get enough of it. If you live in a grotty little council house and you work every day, you don't want to read about heroes. You want to read that everyone else up there is on the take. You want your cabinet minister shagging scrubbers, you want your film stars hooked on drugs, and you want your footballers taking bribes. The worse the scandal, the better you feel. Evens up the score for the common man. <laughs> You're probably right. On the other hand, you won't get your face put on a cigarette card, will you, eh? I'm not going to be able to tell my grandchildren about your magic moments. Yeah, souvenir for you. <laughs>